guys, Edie, vlog 13, I think, yay, <laughs> excuse me, and I had the internet, I'm so excited, I'm so happy, yay, so it's really dark in here, uh, I'm in the house again, it's 8 o'clock at night, and my lighting keeps doing something really crazy. Hmm, I wonder if it shows up to you that way as well. Oh, now I'm blue. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. The lighting color. Anyway, it's uh, 8 o'clock at night, and I'm really late doing my vlog today. I, I was supposed to do it much earlier, and then I wonder if it's just to do the shadow. I God, I Oh, man. Yeah, I think it might have something to do with the shadow. Anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Well, so I was supposed to do my vlog much earlier today, but as you can tell, I'm a bit scatterbrained today. I've been bouncing, running back and forth, taking care of different things, and um, I had intended to do my vlog around 5 o'clock, and then I discovered that I have the internet. And I was tied up on the internet for a little bit, and then, you know, dinner, and Chris, Christopher and I walked to the, um, to the store and got some ice cream and walked home, and then he went and played across the street for a little bit, and so yeah, I'm much, much later than anticipated getting my vlog done tonight. And I am a total, I am such a hot mess. I went, I worked out today for a little while, um, I've been up and running since I woke up this morning. I've been, you know, going nonstop today since I got up. And I haven't had a shower or anything. So this is me after working out and having a busy day. But it's about being real, so I'm leaving it as it is. So yeah, I have the internet. I My internet was not supposed to be on for about five or six more days. It wasn't supposed to be on until Monday and today's Thursday. And I tried it yesterday and I plugged it in and my little internet and my DSL light and everything were blinking and I went through the whole process. I was able to set up my account, set up everything, and then I got to the very last um, thing and I clicked enter and it was supposed to take me onto the internet and it crapped out on me. So I don't know what the deal was with that. But anyway, the, the little internet light went red. And I just assumed that because my internet service wasn't supposed to be on until Monday, that that's what it was. It was just, you know, telling me that it had tried to connect and then I wasn't on, online yet. So I didn't mess with it at all. And I was talking to my husband today. He called and it, uh, I was telling him what had happened. And my husband's an IT. He's, he's a computer guy. And so he said, did you restart the modem? Did you reboot the modem? <laughs> Well, no, I didn't think I needed to. It's brand new. I just plugged it in for the first time and turned it on. <coughs> Excuse me. He said, well, you might want to restart the modem. So I did, and I had net. But I have I had to tear myself away and cook dinner and, and do stuff. But I will be online tonight. I'm really, really happy. I've got to catch up on so many things. I'm I'm all caught up on most most of the vlogs of the people that I know. I, I'm caught up on Effie and Cam and Stephanie and Maisie. I'm caught up on all of their vlogs. But I really wanted to start watching like Sammy Kira and a couple of other people that I've seen who posted and started vlogging. I really wanted to watch all of their vlogs. But because I didn't know them and I wasn't subscribed to anything and I was very limited to my time on the internet, I didn't didn't bother at the time, but I'm going to go back and start rewatching all of the vlogs and get caught up. So that's how my evenings will be spent for the next couple of days, I'm sure. And I want to show you my, my art project that I worked on, but I don't know if it's going to show up. I may have to show it today and then show it again tomorrow properly, show it properly tomorrow. <clears throat> so remember the squishy head, the little uh, stuffed head that I made? It was a scarecrow head, and he is finished. And this is him. Oh, it's so dark. I don't know if you can see. Anyway, this is the squishy head. It's got squishy body. And squishy head. And, oh, and little fringy 
hands and feet. It's a scarecrow. This is my little Lindsay girl. To go along with him. I can't see. I hope I'm showing her right. And uh, I really like the way this page turned out. I have a habit of, um, it says I've been telling my dreams to the scarecrow. I don't know if you can see that sign or not. But I have a habit of thinking that everything has to be perfect and pretty and just so. And, um, I, I try not to overwork the page because I don't want it to be ugly. But I, I love the way the grungy pages look. I love how everybody else's grungy pages look. But I never feel like I can do grungy well. I never think that it's going to turn out well. Well, with this page, I was determined to have some grunge on there. And I took my gel medium. I don't have any, um, oh, what's it called? Texture paste. I don't have any texture paste yet. I want to get some of that. But I don't have texture paste, and I wanted texture on this page. And my gel medium, up at the very top of the jar, where where you open the lid and it's exposed to the air a lot, has got these little, uh, when you, you can like peel out a little ring of gel medium. And it's clumpy. It's not dried out, but it's a ring, a solid ring. So I peeled that out and I kind of broke it apart and I stuck it to the page. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little clump <clears throat> happening here. Oh my god, he's baby. He's all puffy. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to show this again. So anyway, I put some gel medium on the page and got some runs on there. And I love the way this page turned out, but I will show it again properly tomorrow and talk more about it. And talk about that um, where it came from here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I still have this cold sinus allergy thing. <coughs> so yeah. And my, my freaking blind is broken. My dog has a habit of, when we have a couch, it usually sits right here. And she'll get on the back of the couch and they get behind the blind to look out the window. And I seriously buy mini blinds like every three months because I can't stand the way this looks. I hate broken mini blinds. I hate um, raggedy looking things. But uh, since since I was leaving and going to Bahrain, the last time it got broken, I, I decided I wasn't going to buy a new one because I wasn't going to be here to look at it. So the old one could just hang while I was gone. And since I've been back, I haven't taken the time to go. I have to measure again because I got the wrong size last time. And it's just a bit too short. It hangs and it fits in the window, but if you pull the blind too quickly, it'll it'll pop out and fall out. And it drives me insane. I'm such a perfectionist. I want it to be perfect. So I have to remeasure and then go buy another new mini blind to replace this one. So that's why there's an old raggedy mini blind behind me. And this is the only one. This is the only one that gets broken. Every other mini blind, I don't know if you can see, but every other mini blind in my house is neat and perfect and fit and new. I don't know why. And there's one right, but this is a double window here. But uh, they only get into this window. And I don't have a couch right now, so I can't get into it. But anyway, I think that's about it for today. Um, I'm still playing with the idea of uh, how to how to work with these little squishy people. That's, that idea is floating around in my head. <clears throat> I was just talking to Effie a little while ago, and I'm also trying to think of a name for a website. And I've been trying for about a year now, and I, I have no look. I'm so bad at coming up with names of things and um, titles and things like that. I can write. I can write stories. I can write poetry. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty good writer. But coming up with names, not so good at that. So my, my original plan for a website was going to be just weight loss. And it's going to be personal training. It's going to be online personal training. And um, I'm also now wanting to try and incorporate art into that somehow, if possible. I'm not sure if it's going to work out, though. I'm not sure if I can really combine those two things, because I'm not sure if the kind of people who are coming for weight loss would be interested in art. And I'm not sure if art people would be interested in personal training. So I don't know if, if I can combine those two worlds. I may be able to do it on a on a person-to-person -person basis and have something in mind if they are 
arty people, you know, people that I know from the art community that also want to lose weight and, and have personal training. I want to have that in place. So, I mean, I have an idea. If, if it is a combined website, I have an idea for a name for that. But for just online personal training, I have nothing. And I really need a name for that because I want to get my website started. I need to get it started soon, especially if, if we end up going back to Bahrain. I need to have all that set up before I go because it would be a total nightmare to set it up there. And I am not website savvy. As many of you know, I have issues with, you know, the simplest things. I'm, I'm not computer illiterate by any means, but, you know, if I've never done it before, then, then sometimes I, I get lost. And if I can't search out an answer, then, then I'm constantly asking questions. I need somebody to hold my hand and show me like I'm a five-year-old. <laughs> so ideas for a website name are much appreciated. And if anyone knows how to set up a website and can suggest, I want to try a free one to begin with because I'm not sure how it's going to work out. And I don't want to go pay for a domain and then just have it wasted and, and never use it. I, I just don't see the sense in that. But if I find that it's something that, I, that I'm going to be able to continue with and that I'm really going to enjoy and that it's going to work out, then absolutely I want to go pay for a domain and have a good website that, that I can do everything that I want it to do. But to start out with, I want to try a free website. So if anyone can suggest websites and how to set them up and how to, how to put, you know, if someone can like come over and hang out with me and help me set my website up, <laughs> even if it's via Skype, I am totally cool with that because... I have no idea how to set up a website. So, that's what I'm working on now. And I will show you properly my scarecrow page tomorrow, but I think I'm about out of time. I may actually be over. So, until tomorrow.